Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for watching another episode of Short Guy Drinks Whiskey. Today, we're going to take a quick taste and talk about three things you didn't know about Jim Beam. Interesting fact number one. So back in the college days, there was no other better concoction to get you totally ripped than the three wise men, which you had Jack, Johnny, and a little bit of Jim. Interesting fact number two, back in 2014, Japanese alcohol conglomerate Satori purchased Jim Beam for $16 billion. After the merger was completed, they got renamed to Beam Suntori Sugoi. And finally, interesting fact number three, they are using the original recipe. It's been the same for over 100 years. They're using the same yeast strain as they did in the very beginning. Yes, the processes have changed, but it's the same recipe. Let's get this into a glass. All right, let's give this a swirl, have a good look at it here. And as we can see here, it's definitely on the lighter side, more on the honey yellow. If you want to get a little bit more brown in there, you can say, I would say max, maybe like a light tan, more yellowy to me, maybe a little bit orange, maybe a little bit orange in there. Uh, that's kind of typical though, when you're not aging bourbon for a very long amount of time, I think the white label is a four year max. And that's kind of typical because it's not in the barrel long enough to get that great color. So I expect this to be very light in aroma and a little bit watery in taste. Let's give it a smell. All right, so the Jim Beam white label should be about 40% ALC. So as I sniff this in, it shouldn't burn me up here. I should be able to get way in there. <sighs> yep, absolutely uh, no burn in there. Smells very watered down and very thin. A very, like, normally you can smell the sweetness of the corn in there. There's some sweetness, but it's very light. Very little evidence of any wood or barrel char. Everything is very light. Yeah, I predict this is going to be very watered down and thin tasting. Yeah, it's just really hard to pull anything out of there. Yeah, that ap went absolutely, it's gone. Very short lasting, there's no alcoholic burn. There's no burn at all on the finish. Man, I can't pull anything out of there. There's a little bit of sweetness, but it, it disappears so quickly. It's pretty watery. Yep, it's gone. But, bottom of shelf goodness, for 12 bucks, why not? So, final thoughts on the Jim Beam white label? Well, you know, it was very difficult for me to smell and taste anything that was very intense. Super mild, very well-rounded, not a lot of alcoholic burn. It's kind of boring. So if you're looking for something to make drinks with, cocktails, the three wise men, maybe this might be the bourbon for you. It's really cheap, it's $12. This is some bottom shelf goodness here. Uh, so if you're looking for something that's cheap, inexpensive, and available everywhere, this might be the bourbon for you. Guys, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.